evening, everyone. This is unbelievable to me. I, I really had no idea we were going to have such a wonderful group of people to share this very special evening with us to help us to remember all of those people who died in the earthquake, as well as those who were victims of the quake but mainly to remember and celebrate the courage of the Haitian people. They never, ever give up hope that they can make a better future. And tonight, we are especially celebrating our program, Shemin La Vimeo, The Pathway to a Better Life. In Foncoze, for those of you who maybe don't know us too well, Foncoze is Haiti's largest microfinance institution. We have 45,000 clients, borrowers. We have over 200,000 savers. We have 43 branches all over the country of Haiti in every single corner of the country. You can find a Foncoze branch, even in the most rural areas. And we have over 800 very, very, very dedicated people. And over the last 15 years, while we've been developing our program, we've learned a lot. And I think maybe the most important thing that we've learned is that poverty is not homogeneous. People living in poverty are very, very different. And they have different needs. They have different reasons that they landed where they are and they have different needs. And so gradually over those 15 years, we've created what we call our staircase out of poverty. Now, our job in Foncoze is not to, to help people get out of poverty. I mean, we are not there to do the work. They're the ones who have to do the struggling. They're the ones who have to decide inside of themselves that they can do this transformation. And they're the ones also who have to build their self-confidence. But at each level of this staircase, we have a different set of programs and services that we offer to those people. And we do assessments before they come in to figure out where we think they are in this long struggle. Starting at the bottom of this staircase and getting to the top takes at least five years, if not eight, if not ten. It's not something we can see changes overnight. But oh my gosh, when you see the transformation over six months, over a year, over two years, it's unbelievable. It's really, really powerful. So CLM is for, is designed for those people who are at the very, very bottom. They have absolutely no productive assets to their name. They don't have a piece of land, they don't have any chickens, they don't have a goat. They start with us with absolutely nothing. They have a whole bunch of kids. Usually they have a whole bunch of kids. And unfortunately, not a single one of those kids is likely to be in school when we first meet them. We have something called a food security index. And when we use the food security index on these people, we find that they are not only food insecure, they are actually food insecure with hunger which means that they go for days at a time without anything to put in their own mouths or the mouths of their children. They enter the program for 18 months. 18 months. This has nothing to do with credit. These people are not ready for credit. They are only ready to begin to learn how to make a living, how to save a little money, what a savings account is, how to begin to make, to get on that staircase so they can take the next step out of poverty. 
So tonight, this is what we are celebrating. And we have some people here who are the ones who have made this all possible for us. First and foremost, this is a program that BRAC in Bangladesh first started and experimented with many years ago. And they did it because they said, we can't give people credit and have them fail. If they fail, imagine how bad that is. If you were already dirt poor, and then you cannot repay your loan. That is a terrible thing to do to a person. So they said they knew there must be a way to help these people build the confidence, learn to manage money, get a little enterprise, not just one enterprise, but two or three, and have some income streams, get their children in school, and begin to build their lives. But this takes tremendous courage. BRAC taught us how to do this program, and for that we're eternally grateful. But then there were other people along the way who made it possible for us. First and foremost, there were two institutions, both of whom are represented here tonight. One is Concern Worldwide that had been partnering with Foncose for a long time, and the other is CGAP, the consultative group to assist the poor. One of our speakers tonight is Elizabeth Littlefield, and this, she will tell you, this is her baby, because she took it upon herself and upon CGAP to make sure that we were able to spread this, con this uh, program all over the world. So they launched pilot tests all over the world, such as the one that we participated in, to show that we could manage this kind of a program. And she brought people to Haiti. She came to Haiti herself. She went through the mud. She went through the, she walked long distances. She got herself all dirty. She talked to the people. She talked to the staff. And she brought other people with her. And one of the pe persons that she brought was Rita Roy, the president and CEO of MasterCard Foundation. So we have MasterCard Foundation here tonight. And MasterCard has given us the gift soon after the earthquake of um, allowing us to admit another 1,000 families into this program. In our pilot test, we had 150 families. We had a 95% graduation rate, it was great. But we wanted to move to scale up. And we didn't get that in the beginning. We had to struggle, we had to work hard, we had to find other people who believed in us. And one of those was the Haitian T. Moon Foundation. We have representatives from that foundation here. And they allowed us to build the program to 300 while we were waiting for enough money to move to 1,000. Our goal now is to reach 5,000 people. And I think with all of these people in this room, we should eventually be able to do that. <laughs> so I want to start by introducing you to Peggy Wu. Unfortunately, Rita Roy could not be with us tonight. Um, she's been traveling to Asia and all over the place, and this just was not a night that she could be in New York City. But she has sent her chief financial officer, Peggy Wu. Peggy has been with MasterCard Foundation from the very beginning, and um, she comes out of the private sector. So she's a tough CFO. She's certainly been tough with us, and I'm sure she's not going to let up on us any as we move forward. Um, so she is here. Oh, I forgot to mention that we also have Mita here, Julie Redfern, who is the institution that uh, provided the funding to, from MasterCard to Mita, and then Mita provided the funding to us for this. So I also have to welcome Julie Redfern. And my apologies, Julie, for leaving you out of the equation there for a moment. As you can see, this program <laughs> 
is bringing people from all over the world together to make it happen, and that's what makes it so special. By the way, I was also supposed to tell you, um, <laughs> I'm a little out of order here, that um, I know that many of you came very, very excited to, to hear Dr. Paul Farmer. Um, as Father Joseph mentioned in his benediction, Tom White, who was a very, very close friend of Paul's and a mentor and had so much to do with building partners in health. He died uh, this past Friday and Paul was in Boston with his family and friends um, at the funeral in the wake and he just couldn't be here. But we were so excited because he, he has sent in his place, Dr. Joya Mugerji. <laughs> Sorry, Joya. Um, and jo Dr. Joya is the um, Chief Medical Officer of Partners in Health, and she's going to be speaking in his place. And boy, does she understand CLM. She has been in the field. She has watched us grow this program. Partners in Health is a critical piece of what makes this program work because so often it is the health problems of these people which really makes it impossible for them to take that next step. So, let's, so we, you can see we have so many people. It's like a big, huge family that have contributed to make this program a reality in Haiti today. So first let me introduce Peggy Wu, Chief Financial Officer of MasterCard Foundation.